On the front seat. Usually when I start to vlog, this late at night, but I got a lot of work to do for the rest of the night. So I'm heading to Pats right now. Well, I'm at Pats right now, and we're gonna get working on some content and stuff like that. I got a couple things to do for Kosher, and a couple things to do for Jeff, got a couple things to do for him. Yeah, so we got kind of like a busy night ahead of us. I'm pretty sure he's still a little sick, so I don't think he can actually gym. So probably might be writing off the gym for today. Not really too sure yet. I have Jeff's Technique Tuesday video to edit. In order for me to like get to this vlog that you guys are watching now, I need to finish that. And then I got some other things I'm working on for the new Kosher launch. When is that? When's the 29th? Uh, Saturday. That's this Saturday? No, that's next Saturday. Saturday. Next Saturday, Black V2 restock. I don't know if I already said that on the channel. I'm pretty sure this is like random as of my last video that you guys saw. So yeah, this is first time announcing this on YouTube, but coming next Saturday, it's been kind of low key. It's gonna be a limited launch. I didn't go crazy on the units. Obviously like half of you guys already got those from the first time we initially launched that. But there was a lot of people who said they wanted it and didn't get it. Some people who did get it on Black Friday, which was like super low key that I did a sale on Black Friday. Well, if you use the Black Friday sale and then the discount code for YouTube then you got like a crazy deal on those it was like 16 bucks after Damn, taxes bro. yeah you so like people yeah I didn't put it on Instagram so if you just happen to be on the site that day I mean you got it and they end up selling out that was last like three days so I mean but we're gonna restock restock next Saturday so this man's wearing flip-flops it's like three degrees outside <laughs> You're not even wearing a jacket. I don't even wear a jacket. It's a car to get bomber, bro. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just gonna grab some snacks. I should make this fairly healthy. You getting anything? Yeah. I need I'm, some snacks. Bro. I might get some smoothies. I'm gonna switch it up. These are key. These are so good. I used to snack on these all the time, man. You about the ball like right now. Healthy. For the ribs. Corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, which one do I? I gotta go with some health. Damn, man. <laughs> what you She's getting? Supposed to be, bro. What you getting, bro? I don't know. <laughs> I should chill, bro. I have pizza hut today. But if I was gonna get one, it would probably be that one. Chicken uh, vintage. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was in Florida, I used to literally eat these on like every video when I started cutting. I don't know why I'm eating this right now. I actually ate one of Pat's the other day. Was it good? It wasn't as good as when you're cutting. Nah, yeah, when you're cutting, <laughs> the sauce from this it's tastes so like a thousand times eating, better. Like, I was like, this is trash. I've been breaking out from like all the bulk of food that I've been eating. I'm gonna guess that's what I'm breaking out from. So tonight I was like, let me get some health. And so, you know, because health is well. I'm trying to be like my boy Patty Lips over here. Those that, micros, baby. That Asian glow, you know. But, <laughs> Pat has this separate office, can turn into a studio. Yeah, yeah. It's super lucky, bro. I wish I had this. But we went ahead and shot the last little bit of product shots for the necklaces and I think bracelets that he has. This guy has so much stuff coming. Like, he has more stuff than I could have ever had coming in one launch. But, Yo, shout out to Sean because he made it happen. So, you know, I just connect him with the right people. It's all coming together. This is like all the end. When you're shooting product shots and you're about to upload it all and release it all, this is, you're all done, you're good. Now all you gotta do is just sit back and bag orders. Right? Oh, I'm so hyped, man. Yeah, so gonna show him some tricks and tips. You can see this guy pretty much has everything he needs to get all these super clean product picks. So if the picks look bad, then I'm just gonna, we're gonna blame him. <laughs> <laughs> blame me. We're gonna take these into Photoshop right now and uh, start prepping them for the website because I'm pretty sure he's building that up right now too. Tofu. Last night, we ended up just kind of grinding until like 2 a.m. We actually did like a McDonald's run at like 1 and I probably should have done that. I know I hyped up having like a healthy meal and then I ended up going to McDonald's and getting, what we get, bro? Big Mac, fries, chicken nuggets, Coke, <laughs> the whole goddamn shebang. Next day now and we're actually about to do it all again. Honestly, this is kind of like what most of my days look like when people ask like, what do I do all day? Cause they just see me at the gym or they see me out for food. But like most of the day I'm either like editing at my laptop at home or at a coffee shop or I'm like filming something. Pretty much can do that anywhere I want to do it, but I am still working, you know? And eating, eat a lot. Eat, yeah. yeah, eat a lot. <laughs> but we're, we're out right now. We're about to meet up with Jeff cause Jeff needs to get some pictures for Rise. Uh, there's a giveaway going on. And then I think we're gonna go to my place this time and finish some work up at home because I can never I still got a lot to do. This ain't so. nothing new. I've been chasing dreams. Yeah. She been playing games, but there ain't no one in team. Yeah. I stay with my 
my Before I end this video, I got one more thing to show you guys. I've been talking on my Instagram about these new kosher hoodies that I am releasing. I don't really know when I'm releasing them. I don't think that I've actually showed the hoodies at all. I am wearing an extra large and I'm honestly like a pretty long guy and this fits like perfectly on the arms. Perfectly comes all the way down on me. And obviously closer to release day, I'll give you guys like a full try on with like different people or I have on the website like different models wearing like different sizes. So you can kind of like grasp what size you'll actually wear. This is actually only the final sample of them. I've been working on these hoodies for like two months now and I'm finally here to this version which fits perfectly. This is one of the first samples here which is pretty much more polyester than cotton kind of has like this sheer feel to it and it's like not lined with cotton like the one that i'm wearing now is i kind of hated this one so went in the process of redesigning this whole thing and now we're here to this final product so i think i'm going to release these like towards the end of january top of february i feel like hoodie season is like kind of passing us ideally i would like to have these out start of october and just kind of like been pushing them like all winter but i mean the way China works, the way everything works in this industry is just, everything is a lot slower. I do feel like it's a trend right now to just like start clothing brands. Like I got a lot of people who come to me on the internet, like asking like how I did it or how I go through the process of everything that I go through when I'm creating all this stuff, which I don't think anything is wrong with that. Like I don't really see competition. I mean, other people may see it a different way, but I don't, I don't really care about any of that. I would say a lot of people ask me super generic questions and I feel like this kind of weaves out who I feel like would be proactive. Everything that I've learned with like videography, photography, clothing, any of that stuff, I've never asked anyone for help. I've always like took it upon myself to like go on YouTube, go on Google and learn how to do all of these things. I feel like the next person could do that. So from the jump, it just kind of shows that initial drive, like who's gonna put the effort in and who's gonna get it on their own. And honestly, I think that's really important when you're a business is how independent you are and how proactive you are in what you're doing. And I'm not trying to sound like an asshole when I say like who really wants it to go out and like figure it out themselves. I think that is important, but I'm always here for people and I do give them like a lot of advice. I say that out of love because I want people to like do shit themselves. Kind of a low key video today. We're back in the gym and the next one, I got some PRs to announce, but I'm gonna end it right here. So if you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video like before you leave and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.